To start this glitch, you will need to go down to Custom Games and then go to Change Map. Now, using a USB mouse, open the Settings tab, and I think a keyboard might work as well. Now, have your friend who is in their own custom game lobby send you three invites. View player details for the first invite. View player details for the second invite. And accept the third invite. Once you have joined their party, use the mouse to open the social tab. Then have your friend bring the party out of custom games and this will close the social tab. Open the social tab again and have your friend bring the party to zombies. Now have your friend go to private, go over to onslaught and then select onslaught containment. As soon as time remaining hits 27, have your friend leave the party alone. They will need to quick join you before you select a map if you want to play together. Otherwise, go back and select any map you want. For this glitch, I will be selecting Collateral. Start killing bosses, and they have a chance to drop ether tools, which can upgrade your weapons, and chalices, which can pack a punch them. They will also drop a random perk each time they are killed. And what we are looking for is the PhD slider perk. You also need to make sure it's tier 4 or higher. One of my favorite spots for the early rounds is on top of this roof. Stand in this corner, and you should have plenty of time to kill all the zombies. You may only have to kill a few bosses before they drop the PhD slider, or it may take a lot of bosses. Hopefully you are lucky and can get it early. A really great spot is on top of these boxes, which will cause all the zombies to become frozen. Every time I get on the box, I start to lag slightly, but it's still, it's still a perfect spot for when you're feeling overwhelmed. Once you have PhD Slider, then head to the glitch spot. We will be glitching through right here. This spot can be very difficult to get into, especially if you do not have the stamina perk, but it can be done with just PhD Slider. This spot has taken me anywhere between 5 to 35 tries before I've actually slid through, so plan on this glitch spot taking quite a while to get into. But once you get in, you never have to leave. You are going to need to jump, press the slide button while in the air, and pause the second you hit the ground. Make sure you are close to the garage doors when you press pause. It will probably take a while to get the timing just right, but with a bit of luck and some practice, you will eventually slide right through. All the zombies will now start to pile up at the door. They can be difficult to see without the death perception perk, but you can still shoot them right through the garage door. You can also go prone to see where their feet are if you're having trouble finding them. The only downside to this wall breach is the wait time for some of the bosses to show up. Most of the bosses can get here pretty quick depending on where the orb is located, but the mangler walks slow. So just continue, just continue killing the zombies that are spawning in while you wait. Depending on how far away the bosses die from the door, you should be able to pick up most of his drops by moving to the door and going prone. 
You will want to stand a bit farther back when fighting the Mimic, since his melee attacks can reach right through the door. You may have to jump to pick up the perks that are close enough. Once you reach higher surges, then the bosses will start to drop higher quality loot and chalices which give higher level pack-a-punch. Once you have Death Perception, then this will be one of the best spots for headshots. But you don't need Death Perception to get a ton of kills here. If you are standing at the back of the room, then the dog gas can't hurt you, but keep an eye on your health if you are close to the door. Now you can just stay here for as many rounds as you like. If you do want out, move to the left, go prone, and use Ether Shroud Tier 3. But as I said, there isn't much reason to get out once you get in. And that's all for now. See you next time.